uh, that mode will be activated when you will start writing with using the line numbers here right 10 for example i'm writing a line i am starting writing a statement and this statement if it begins with a line number it means it's a part of a program okay this is now not a command it's a part of a program i am giving you an example of writing a short command so that you can come to know that how how would it work uh, see that how i am doing it enter a number okay enter a number inverted commas close and then a semicolon n line number 30 input again enter the other number okay i have written another command here enter another number and uh, i have taken another uh, variable for it m so line number 40 will i will be showing the sum of these two numbers n plus m simply print it's a very short program and we are going to see that what will be the output to see the output as you see that there is the uh, two run is written there so either you can type a run here yourself okay to see the output or you can press f2 key so when i press uh, write a, a run and i will be switched to output screen the first message is shown here enter a number i enter a number that is 12 and then I will, I'm given a question mark there because I did not print a message there. So I'm given a question mark here to ask that. It means that the program is asking me to enter a value. So I give, for example, 25 here. So uh, the, this program is showing me a syntax error because there is a colon here. How are you going to remove it? How are you going to change it? You are going to press the double quotes here, enter the number, okay. And then you press enter list what you have written 10 on line number 10 there is cls on line number 20 there is a line that shows input double inverted comma start enter a number and the number the value that you will enter will be stored in n on line number 30 input enter the other number the other number that you have uh, entered will be stored in m and now on line number 40 i have given that print n plus m now let's see that i'm going to press f2 key i'm going to press the 12 number it's giving me uh, enter the other number i'm giving 25 and now the sum of the two numbers are shown to me so this is a very uh, you know uh, don't worry about it i'm going to tell you how to do it uh, step by step but i just gave you an example that how the small programs can be made on using gw basic so for monday 24th your given question is from exercise chapter 2 that is question number 4 in how many modes gw basic can operate discuss briefly so i have written here direct mode and indirect mode and uh, the details are given here indirect mode gw basic commands are executed commands do remember that commands are without line number okay and as they are type results of arithmetic and logic operations arithmetic operations means plus minus addition subtraction multiplication and division logical operations here logical operations mean that you are going to maybe you are going to compare two values if one value is larger than the other if one value is smaller than the other or if two values are equal or if two values are not equal so these are the logical operations okay and this is how you can uh, you these operations you can use in direct mode and you can see the result immediately as i told you as i showed you that when you write print and uh, 8 plus 2 then right after pressing the enter key it gives us the result that is 10 but the commands themselves are lost it means what it means that they will not be stored anywhere as the program statements are stored they are stored permanently you can save a program on your hard disk on any of the drive so and you can uh, run it again uh, 
Yes, one question, one student has uh, raised a hand and I want you to, uh, sir, please uh, write your questions um, in chat box. I will be able to answer you at the end, right? Okay. The next mode is the indirect mode. The indirect mode is used to type programs and uh, here, as I showed you that there was a little program there, I have typed here. Now see that I am now on the output screen. How I'm going to see what program I have to type. First, I want to clear the screen. I give you an example of a command, CLS. CLS stands for clear the screen. Now the top text will be removed as soon as I press the enter key. Whatever is the screen, on the screen will be cleared. Just see. Now you can see that OK is written there and there is no previous text shown here, the output of the program. Now I want to see that what is my program and how does it look like? What I need to do, either type list here or press F1 key, okay? When you will press F1 key and press enter, now you have seen the program that you just wrote there, okay? There are how many lines there in this program? One, two, three, four. Let me tell you about uh, giving the line numbers. These line numbers are indicator for uh, the computer that what comes first and what comes after. It means that these line numbers help the computer to understand that which statement to execute first and what comes after that, right? Even if I want to uh, add a line here and I want it to be there in between the 10 and 20, I will give it a line number accordingly, 15. 15 comes between 10 and 20. Even if I write it at the end of the program, it will be adjusted uh, automatically. I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to print a simple message. Hello, 10 M right so this line is right here after the line number 40 but when i press the f1 key list is automatically written i press enter where do you find line number 15 now between line number 10 and line number 20. so let's see the output first revise that what was the command to clear the screen cls press enter and the screen is cleared now I want to see the output of my program. So I'm going to press F2. And first the message is shown there because it was on line number 15, 10M. And then it is asking me enter a number. So I press 15, the other number 67, and the result is shown to us, right? So this is how it works. Indirect mode is used for writing programs. As you have seen that there is no other screen that opens. You are on the same screen. And as soon as you start typing the right now, OK message is there, I'm in direct mode. But if I give a line number, I will be in indirect mode. See, there is no different window that will open uh, here. OK, so indirect mode, when you write commands, uh, when you write statements, you need to you want to see their output, you have to type this run command after typing all the statements. Okay, uh, I hope I'm clear so far. If you have any questions, you can uh, write those questions in chat box and I will answer all those queries after the class ends. So let's move to the Tuesday lesson. Tuesday lesson shows us uh, that differentiate between basic commands and statements. Now you see that I have taken a question number that is not right after question number four, but I have, uh, there should be question number five, but I have taken question number 10 part four because it is in the sequence as you are going to study uh, the chapter. So I have changed the sequence of the questions for your understanding. Uh, okay, question number 10, differentiate between basic commands and statements. So the, these are the differences. Number one, GW basic commands are executable instructions, right? Executable instructions mean that they will show the result right after you press the enter meeting. Okay, uh, enter command. Uh, 